In this lecture, we will learn about constructors in C++. Okay, so we will learn about constructors, which is a very important concept. So what is constructor? So constructor is a function. Okay, that is called when an instance is created. Okay, so there is a class. You create one instance of it. And then what C++ does is that when you create an instance of it, the constructor is automatically called. Okay. So how does it help? It helps in initialization. So what happens is when you have some data members in your class and instead of you yourself initializing it in your main function or somewhere else the constructor automatically automatically initializes those values with some default values okay the data members are assigned some default values okay which you can later change so for example if we have a simple point class okay the so point class which is defined by its x and y coordinates so when you define it, the default value that the X and Y coordinate will get is X is 0.0, .0 and Y is 0.0. .0. So how you define the constructor? One thing to note is that the constructor name is same as the class name. Okay. So the constructor is a function. Okay. Special function and whose name is same as the class name. Okay. So this is very important point to note. And then what happens? Then you write it like a simple function. Your constructor does not return anything. Okay, so it does not return any value. Okay, so this is one property of constructor. It doesn't return any value. Name of your constructor is same as class name. Okay, so these are the two properties and we will see another other properties further okay so but now it doesn't return any value and its name is same as the class name okay so what happens now we have declared the class defined it okay with one function the constructor and the constructor initializes the x and y coordinates to be zero okay so now what happens let's see in the main function okay so when the main function is called here okay so let's try to see so in int main so what happens point p we define so now automatically this point p constructor is called where x is becomes 0 y becomes 0 and it prints out that okay point instance is created okay so that will be automatically written without any calling of any other function okay because inside okay in hidden manner the constructor is automatically called when you create one instance of a class so so far so good so now let's see what happens can your constructor like any function we said that the constructor is a special function okay so someone can ask so can your constructor take parameters or arguments like functions the so answer is yes it can accept parameters too so constructor your constructor can accept parameters okay so for example here you have two points x and y so what happens is now we can pass the default values of x and y as argument okay double nx and double ny now you can make x is equal to nx okay and y is equal to ny so these are the initialization value of x and y coordinates okay so now this is a two parameter constructor <coughs> so this is also done so now what happens when you create so in int main so what will you write so i can write that okay point p I create and let's say I give it a value 2.0 comma 3.0 okay so your instance of class point will be created that p variable and this 2.0 and 3.0 will be the this is 2.0 and this is 
3.0 so this constructor will be called which has two parameters okay so i hope you understand this so now let's see people might say the next question logical question that comes to our mind is that function support polymorphism okay which means with the same function name you can have a function with different number of arguments okay and in fact different type of arguments and yes your constructor supports that too so you can have multiple constructors in your class and let's see so this two constructors we studied point without any argument so x was initialized to a default value of 0 and y was also initialized to default value of 0 but if you provide the parameters so double nx double ny then those parameters will be taken so now the next question that comes to our mind is now how will the declare when you make an instance of a class how will it know which constructor to call okay so that's also very simple similar to the function overloading here in c++ if i call like point p okay so this will call just the this constructor will be called because no argument is passed but if i call point let's say p1 2.0 comma 4.0 so because two arguments are getting passed and those are double so this function or the constructor will be called okay so this is important so point p so default constructor is called and point q 2 comma 0 comma 3 comma 0 2 parameter constructor is called okay so this is there and what else okay so let's try to see there is another type of constructor which is known as copy constructor okay so let's see this one this is also a very important concept so the concept of copy constructor so what is copy constructor in a copy constructor basically if i write something like point p okay i define 2.0 comma 3.0 okay then i define point q is equal to p okay so because we said that class is a user defined type okay which can represent natural entities so i can say that okay because i can say that okay int x is equal to 3 i can do and then i can say that int y is equal to x so because c++ supports user defined type so i can i should be able to write like this point q is equal to p then how is this handle okay so how is this handle so the answer is copy constructor okay so what does copy constructor do so when you write like this q is equal to p point q is equal to p so the default copy constructor is invoked and let's see how it is defined so point q is 1.0 comma 2.0 if you define point r is equal to q so this tells invoking the copy constructor so now let's see so what happens the copy constructor is called and each of the elements are copied okay so x becomes equal to so what happens inside is this code is written okay so something similar to this so point okay let's try to see how it is implemented so basically a constructor like this point and then in the argument the class copies itself passed okay so reference to the class object so point ampersand o so this is one reference so reference to that object is passed okay and then what happens now how where is this coming from so when we wrote point r is equal to q so this q is now passed as a reference okay so this q is coming here in ampersand o okay so now whatever the values were so x becomes o dot x your y becomes o dot y because this is the class object so you access those attributes okay so 
see out the custom copy constructor so we have defined like this okay one very important thing to note is that while we are passing a reference to the object so when we should do that we should also write a const okay const point ampersand o so what will this do that you can only you cannot change this object when i'm making let's say int x is equal to 3 and int y is equal to x so i want that i should copy whatever the content is there in x that should be copied to y but i would not like that okay this line should anyway change the content in x okay so that's why you should make a const point ampersand o so that this object is not changed okay so what happens so let's see so this is there so point r is equal to q so rx becomes equal to q dot x and r dot y becomes equal to q dot y okay so this is there about the constructor so it helps us in initialization and this function is called as soon as you create one instance so i hope you understand this thanks a lot